Getting started with the Open Science Framework. Do you have a project you're working on? A research idea? First things first, you need to create a project. A project is the largest form of categorization that the OSF supports. A project could be an experiment, a lab group, or a class. Anything that has contributing members and files or explanatory text and images. When you create a project, it will show up in your dashboard. The dashboard displays all of your projects and their components in the project organizer and is linked in the blue navigation bar at the top of the page. When you click on a project to open it, you are taken to the project overview page. From this page, you can easily see your components, which are like folders to keep you organized. Access your files, tag your project with keywords to help other people find your work, view a history of the recent changes to your project, and view your wiki with important notes and communications to your team. To navigate to the files or wiki page, click on the icon in the corner of the widget on your project organizer. There you will be able to add content to your project. You also have access to the features of your project via a gray navigation bar at the top of your page. Here, when you're in your main project, clicking the title of your project will take you back to the project overview page. To bring another level of navigation and organization into your project, create a component. Components are like folders where you can put files and organize your project. Each component also has a version of the project overview page with its own files and wiki. Now you can see both the title of the project and the title of component on the overview page, and the title of the component has replaced the title of your project in the gray navigation bar. To return to your main project, you simply click the small blue arrow to the left of the title. Thanks for watching our Getting Started video. Hopefully now you have the basis for getting started with the OSF. For more updates, subscribe to our channel and follow us on Twitter.